Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go You already know what team I represent Team Cat, all day Welcome to the living room You know what I'm saying? Represent that lit toasted You know what I'm talking about You guys represent the Team Cat I'm stealing that Team Cat All day, every day All right, Captain America Civil War is going down right now at this moment, at this time and period in time. The abyss is upon us. I'm very concerned about this movie, which, full clarity, I've seen this once before the day it came out. Completely, completely, utterly destroyed. We're about to get into this. I'm going to remember. How different this is from the comic. <laughs> see these things? You see this thing? They're ready for this movie. Yeah, get your veins out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? My apologies. I interrupted her dinner time. As you can see, she was very upset. What? Now, let's go ahead and get into this because I'm Ricky. And for all you Team Iron Man people, that, see that name don't even roll off the tongue. Team Cat, Team Cat, simple, easy. Team Iron Man, it feels like, it just, you know, you know, you can have your little pew 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 pew. I'll have my big. Bing, 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 bing. Shut up. That's what's time. Yeah. That's what's time. I'm gonna understand that. Now, like, I was trapped. <laughs> Whatever. And, whoever comes down there is too much to blow. Turn into a crane machine. Let's get in this amped. Are you amped? Because I'm amped. And if you're amped and I'm amped and we both amped, then the whole world be amped. Then we be amped together, be a whole goddamn light bulb. What? Let's get it that. Yes. Ah. In my lifetime. Inform me. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Dope yet terrifying. He kind of looks like uh, Sub Zero. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should laugh when he's getting his mind electrocuted, but for some reason, <laughs> his scream makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Great cop. Are them little phrases? Okay. Oh my god. They're dead off the impact. Even the engine caught on fire. Dear God. At least they die quick. What the hell, hell are those? Okay. Okay. I'm invested. I'm involved. Son of a bitch. Who say me wrong, Kanga? Represent! Represent! Represent, girl! She looking at me like I don't understand, Daddy. Sam, see that garbage truck? Tag it. Dopeness? I find that quite dope indeed. My eyes open right now? I don't know. <sighs> 
I see everything, and yet I see nothing. <laughs> he fought it. That's why he's swinging. Oh my god! Blessed be thy cap! I salute you, sir! Oh my god. The sheer taking out that I am witnessing. What is he doing with his wing now? Hold up, what? Pack it up. I know that voice. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. I'm so satisfied. Oh my god, I'm so satisfied. Oh. Oh. Falcon's on some different level of shit right now, and I'm down for it. Oh my gosh, she rock bottomed me. Oh my lord. That was the most violent rock bottom I've ever seen. She is incredible. I love Black Widow. Oh my god. Ooh. She is a goddamn general. You understand me? A god Damn. She's a goddamn general. We breaking people's sternums. And I'm here. You know what he also doesn't have? A goddamn spleen. Because you kicked it out of him. I'm proud of you, boy. You did me proud. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> yo, she tearing his gut up, yo. His name is Red Wing. I'm still not thinking it. He's cute. Red Wing. That was his Falcon in the comics. His actual Falcon that he could telepathically talk to. It was quite crazy. Quite crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Cap is so fluid. So legit. I don't want to look at his face. The building fell on it. <laughs> oh. Now you look like... You look like... <laughs> You look like a cockroach that survived the nuclear blast. That's what you look like. And you're coming with me. Oh! Good job! Ooh. Oh! That, uh... Damn. Damn. So in the comics, um, if the Civil War comic, there is a mass explosion event. It's when this group of what they call themselves heroes, the New Warriors, who basically are on like uh, a reality TV show, literally go ahead and uh, cause a massive explosion on live TV, causes the Superhero Registration Act, which causes the Civil War. Go I don't understand. Are they not talking? Has has he had a falling out with that fine redhead? This needs to be addressed quickly. We need her walking around in her little booty shorts with no shoes on, like she was in Avengers. Immediately. Immediately. This 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 seems kind of hostile. This seems quite hostile. Oh, you need to get the fuck up out of here, dog. Who's going to avenge my son Stark? He's dead, and I blame you. You need security. Where the hell is Happy? 
You just getting walked up on by a mother in her 60s? Come on now. What legal authority does an enhanced individual like Wanda Maximoff have to operate in Nigeria? <laughs> so, yes, this is like, this is going to be the catalyst. Try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes it doesn't mean everybody. But if we can't find a way to live with that, next time... Cap just so eloquently put the words in, yo. And then Vision completely had to jack the moment by walking through the wall. Great many people see you as heroes. There are some who would prefer the word vigilantes. And what word would you use, Mr. Secretary? How about dangerous? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not incorrect. They are dangerous. That is also the point. War Machine, stop turning around looking like a bitch. Don't you do this. Rep the squad. Oh, yes, right. You Iron Man's boy, anyway. You've operated with unlimited power and no supervision. That's an arrangement the governments of the world can no longer tolerate. Huh? But I think we have a solution. Is this this version of the Superhero Registration Act? The Sokovia Accords it sounds like this is the movie version of the Superhero Registration Act. Tell me, Captain, do you know where Thor and Banner are right now? If I misplaced a couple of 30 megaton nukes, you can bet there'd be consequences. My guy, let's be honest. If he did, what would you do? You wouldn't do shit to Thor. You wouldn't do shit to Hulk. Both of them would wreck shop. <laughs> he crashed into your car. Is this your car out front? I jumped the curb. Maybe we could take care of it ourselves. Idiot. You deserve to die. You made this horrible decision, so you deserve to die. None of that made any goddamn sense. Why even open that door? Why even conversate? Now, he done found the goddamn book. Who the hell is this guy? Congratulations. And what the hell kind of contraption is this? Mission report. Is he going to drown this man upside down? Ingenious. This is glorious. I am so happy to see this. I'm very excited for what this man's about to do. Because if it goes off the way I think it's going to go off, this is going to be glorious. And other bloodier methods to find what I need. I don't look forward to that only be dying for your pride the, the calmness of this dude he's incredible i love him so far who is this Hell, I die bitch how dare you utter those two crappy phrases yeah that's what your last words were strength invites challenge challenge incites conflict and conflict catastrophe oh that could be true but you know what sometimes you just have to take a shit if you want to make a difference i suppose i mean we won't know because we dropped the building on him while we were kicking ass damn he literally tracked all the information about this guy now we need to be put in check whatever form that takes I'm but you're the one who is the reason that happened hoss this is what i'm talking about with tony he doesn't take accountability. He is the reason Ultron created that problem. Because he created Ultron. Because he tampered with something without talking to everyone else. That is why Ultron came. So what does he mean? We need to be put in check. I realized what my weapons were capable of in the wrong hands. I shut it down, stop manufacturing. Tony, you chose to do that. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? Indeed. And they'll come for me. We would protect you. Maybe Tony's right. Are you see, vision already starting that though. Huh? I have to go. 
Oh no. That sounds like funeral music. Yeah. I know Catholic funeral music. Who's that? No! Oh, well, yeah, she was barely hanging on last time we saw her. She had Alzheimer's and everything. Damn. Margaret Carter was known to most as a fellow. I, I still don't trust her. Agent 13 couldn't be trusted in the comics. She could and she could, but she could. But really, she could. Yeah, she was brainwashed. I, I, I understand this. But she still tried to kill Cat. Brainwashed or no. And she said compromise where you can. Where you can't, don't. No. How dare you. To plant yourself like a tree. How dare you. say no, you move. I'm a little disgusted right now. That was Cap's speech in Civil War. When they've been fighting, they're, everyone's tired and beat up. And he delivers that message. And it means something. They just took it away from Cap in the movie. Are we serious? Are we serious? I don't like that. I, I don't even have a good reason to understand why they took it away. If he had to let him maintain that speech... It helps really solidify why he's doing what he's doing. Because Cap does do some dirty stuff during Civil War. He's not Mr. Clean during Civil War. But at least you have a better understanding. When he gives that, he's tired, he's bloody, and he gives that speech. It means something. I'm very disappointed that, that they took that away. And it's just a random saying during a funeral. Look at you. Look at you. Rest in peace, of course. I know who that is. I knew who he was before he was this. I knew him. He was in this movie that they uh, chronicled um, James Brown. He played a great James Brown. You got to see that movie. I don't even remember what the hell that movie was called. Two people in a room can get more done than a hundred. Yes, ah. you need to move the piano. Baba. Yeah. Ms. Romanov. Look at look how serious his face got. Why he, he got that black old man just up like serious extra seriousness, sis. Sis sis sis. Sis. <laughs> you see he did it again. <laughs> he did it again. But then again, that's the that's King Tashaka. Extend his hand in peace. Damn, they had a second explosion? So the first explosion created the... Uh... uh damn. This is how they killed... King T'Chaka? That's crazy. For me, for some reason, the only remembrance I have of King T'Chaka is he gets killed by this Nazi dude who's really like an alien. That's what, like, is in my brain when I think of uh, King T'Chaka's death. So that was crazy for me to see. She kept so many secrets. I didn't want her to have one from you. But you can say you boned. An aunt and her niece. Well, you didn't bone the aunt. But you could have. You would have. But you couldn't. Oh, snap. You, you ever see a black man staring off into the distance like that? He's either inventing something that's going to change the world. Or somebody about to get their ass whooped. I'm telling you right now. One of them two about to go down. Task force will decide who brings in Barnes. He is a king now. Don't bother Ms. Romanov. Yes! I'll kill him myself. Indeed! The princess will run! Yes! Ooh. 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 The panther's coming. He's coming. He's coming. God damn it. 
I am so happy they maintained Black Panther. I don't know if y'all know this, but Stan Lee actually did change Black Panther's name to like Black Leopard because he was there was concern about there was a new group that had come up on the West Coast, also known as the Black Panther, who they were concerned about them being linked to each other. So Marvel changed Black Panther to Black Leopard. They they later changed it back clearly, but you know I, I'm happy that change didn't stick. Black Leopard, the hell is that? It's trash, is what it is. Who's that ass was that? Who's that ass is that? The whole, he done murk. He didn't bring the body of the dude he drowned, did he? Nah, nah. Nah, there's no way he can get that through the lobby. We'll process it. <laughs> oh, I love how I answered that question so quickly. Don't you love when your brain is like, what the hell did you just say? Shit. Buck, you've been compromised. You think people wouldn't recognize you with that butt chin, sir? Are we serious? That butt chin's immaculate. We see it our way from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Is that even a place? I just heard Bugs Bunny say it a lot when I was a kid. This doesn't have to end in a fight, Buck. Yes, it does. They won't let it be any other way. Indeed. I'm gonna kill someone. Oh, this was playing like hell. You see that throw? That throw was incredible. Oh, my lord. He's beating them with the battering ram. Buck is literally beating the hell out of everyone. Yo. The amount of concussions. Oh. Oh. I'm spent. I have nothing left to give. Ooh, Penta. Girl, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, oh! Man, fully bulletproof. How dare you shoot bullets in my front? Sam, you impressive son of a bitch. Didn't know you had it in ya. Oh. I, I don't know what to do. He, he... See how soft he landed? Sa it almost sounded like my girl Kanga. Yeah, like my girl Kanga. Oh, look how fast they are. Oh, I love how they shot that. That looks incredible. It looks like they're actually running on the street. I have to admit, for some reason, and this might sound dumb, I've never thought about cap driving. It never even crossed my mind that he has a license to drive. I mean, <laughs> Black Panther hanging on like a booger on a Tyler. Ooh! ooh. Yes! What the hell is happening now? Oh my god, I'm gonna drown! I'm not ready for all this! Oh my god, he. Black Panther is a menace! Woo! He's. Did you see how Cap got out the car? Did you see the cop got out the cop? Cool. I don't want scared of you. You betrayed the code. You betrayed the code. Congratulations, Cap. You're a criminal. Congratulations, War Machine. You're a pussy. I'm sovereignty and cannot be touched. Now saith the Panther. I used to think of myself one way. 
but after this, I... I swear, part of her contract is just doing this. She must do intense finger therapy because my fingers hurt just from doing this as we speak. And she does it for everything. Did you see how she was spinning the spoon earlier? And why is Vision wearing a cardigan? Wow. Y'all grounded her? And what do you want? For people to see you. As I do. Does he have a penis? Am I asking questions that shouldn't be asked? I'm just curious. Does he have a penis? How in depth? I, can, I mean, I know what she can do. She could grant him a penis and balls and sperm and all that good stuff if she wanted to. I don't know if she knows that, but in the character in the comics could do whatever she wanted. For God's sake, she could make you fart a gold tooth with that has Taylor Swift doing the Macarena on it, okay? That's what she could do if she wanted. So, she, Ooh. It's both warrior and king. How long do you think you can keep your friend safe from me? Ooh! Oh! Oh! This! It's glorious! <laughs> it's, I'm not really crying. Y'all will never give me the crowd here. It's just never gonna happen out of like that. But god damn! Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Who as warrior and king? Psychological evaluation and extradition. Is that the Hobbit? Bilbo! Bo, it's been so long. You're, you're really short in real life, huh? They really put a D23 on the damn cage, the Bucky. Uh, Disney, really? I don't intend on going anywhere. For the record. He really is Bo. He's the shortest one in the room. I don't want to lose her. I thought maybe the Accords could split the difference. In her defense, I'm a handful. Huh. I didn't suspect... Actually, yeah, that, that lines up very well. Because he did blow up the suits for her. I disagree with that completely. But he did it. And yeah, I can see how that would blow up. Because I thought, I was thinking in Avengers 2, like, how does he have updated suits? He's supposed to have stopped. Sometimes, sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. Jesus. Hostile? Egregious? From what I just heard, as you see, Iron Man started it. Cap will finish it. I'm doing what has to be done to stave off something worse. You keep telling yourself that. Tony has completely changed. If this was Tony in Iron Man 1 or Iron Man 2, he would have told them where they could shove that shit. But because he keeps making mistakes, now everyone must bear the weight of those consequences? Well, I disagree. Deep cap all day, deep cap, deep cap. Oh, shoot, it's that dude. I really got to keep seeing Disney um, Disney propaganda. Huh? D23? If you open your mouth, really? the horrors might never stop. How did he get in here? Oh, shit. It'd be funny if their damn phrases didn't work no more and he just completely sub-zero uppercuts his ass. What is that with 1991? Is it linked to that car thing at the beginning where he stole those blue nutsacks? I thought it was all punching going in. God damn it. I love when it's so... Oh, he threw him down an elevator shaft, though? Winter Soldier is a deviant black Air Force wearer. I'm telling you, he's on a different level. Even in Bucky. Bucky ain't on 
when a soldier's level when it comes to I want to wreck you now. It was almost over right there. Oh, 13's involved? Widow's involved? Oh, that is a sexy duo. My God, I didn't know how much I wanted it until I knew that I saw it and didn't understand why I couldn't see more of it. Oh my God. Ooh. Panther! Dang, you see how quick he was? Ooh. Panther was able to do some work to him. T'Challa's that dude. See, I love T'Challa because not only is he one of the top fighters in Marvel, he's also one of the top intellects in Marvel, okay? Like, he's a dual destructive threat. What is happening right now? Are we fight the helicopter cap? Is it time to boo? Oh, oh my damn it! He's about to curl a goddamn helicopter. To trick the time. I pulled a muscle somewhere. Are you goddamn kidding me? Oh my god, yo. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm thinking how okay, how long is Cap gonna be knocked unconscious from falling into a goddamn river while being choked by a person who's in a helicopter? Like, he not only took the impact of hitting the Water, he hit the goddamn helicopter as well. He's going to Moscow. Can someone tell me who this bastard is? What the hell? Is this a scene for Ant Man? This is the end scene for Ant Man. Okay. I guess things are starting to pick up. Steve, which Bucky am I talking to? Mom. So nasty, she sucked your daddy dick and came in here and kissed you goodnight. Your mom's name is Sarah. He used to wear newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be putting that information out. Don't ever embarrass Cat. You're lucky Sam's a G. Bombing, set up, the doctor did all that just to get 10 minutes with you. I need you to do better than I don't know. He wanted to know about Siberia, where I was kept. Why would he need to know that? Because it's in Moscow and he just went to Moscow. This is all bad. So, uh, Siberia's in Moscow, right? Where the hell is Siberia? Where the hell? Are... This is why we need more Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. It taught you shit in the 90s. Yeah, the blue nutsacks. We got this. Oh, oh, those are like IDs. Uh -huh. Did not know. Yo, her neck muscles are tense. Damn, that's the dude who was drowned upside down. So he did. He wasn't just some guard. He was literally like a dude running shit in here. Uh... Oh, shit! Oh my god, how many punches was that? How many punches was that? 2,432? How many punches was that? Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard boy to die. <laughs> Get your sternum turned into goddamn garlic powder. Maybe not. I know a guy. And this is where the man of the ant should be brought in, I assume. Seeing that it was an end credit to his own movie. This time I won't be wearing loafers and a silk shirt. 72 hours, guaranteed. 36 hours. 
My left arm is numb. Is that normal? Well, is, is Tony Stark going to have a heart attack? That would require a heart. <laughs> T-Cat! Don't you ever question my allegiance? Disrespectfulness all day. A team cat. I have an idea. Me too. Where's yours? Downstairs. Where's yours? There's only one so bitch out Queens. The Parker of the Peter. I'm quite interested to see this Peter Parker. I have not seen a Spider-Man movie since the 90s. No challenge is too great. No enemy is too strong. The most popular, most daring, most exciting superhero in the entire world. The cheap, crappy piece of garbage that we were given! What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? It's about time we met. You been get my emails, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, regarding the... You didn't tell me about the grant. The grant? Oh. Oh. You didn't tell me anything. What's up with that? You keep your secrets from me? Why is Aunt May hot? Why is Aunt May hot? This walnut date loaf is exceptional. Let me just stop you there. <laughs> He's like, these lies will not be tolerated. <laughs> you knew that was coming. This is a pause. The first time in the history of the channel. We're pausing. Because the impact and the importance of Peter Parker in Civil War, in the comics, cannot be spoken while this scene is happening. We must take a pause, people. Because it shook the world for the comic world, that is. You people who didn't read the comics probably didn't even know what happened. But for us, it was huge because not only did Spider-Man join Team Iron Man, but Iron Man convinced um, Spider-Man to reveal his identity on live TV. This happened. The whole reason he wore that mask was to protect the ones he loved. What do you think happened after he did this for Tony in Civil War. His family gets attacked like that. It just happens. Like, it's one of the most destructive things that ever happened to Peter Parker's life. Okay? It's so bad, this one decision. The only way it is undone is by Peter sacrificing everything. Okay? Everything to actually get his anonymity back. It is one of the worst decisions Peter Parker ever makes in his life. Okay, so the fact that he's in here, it means something. So I'm curious to see how they take this because for me, his role in the comic version was so vital and so important, and it had such a, a lasting imprint on what happened after. It's very big, man. It's very big. So, and, and, and now, so I will add, he did join Team Cap in the end. Get just Team Cap! Just Team Cap! Team Cap. Okay, it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. And him being here is just buck wild. So let's see what they're going to do with Peter Parker. Because it best be good or I will flip. <laughs> You're a dumpster diver. He's yeah, a salvager. Uh, anyway. I like that. That shows his ingenuity and his smartness. That's you, right? Ooh. Oh, no. what you that's doing? in the Spider-Man game. That's why that suit's in there. I was wondering where the hell that suit was. Okay? Because I haven't seen all the Spider-Man movies. The last Spider-Man movie I saw came out in the goddamn 90s. I didn't see the Raimi movies. I didn't see the reboot with Jamie Foxx was, was up in that. Didn't see those. And clearly I haven't seen these. I don't have faith. Comic book movies sucked when I grew up. They sucked hard. You're the Spider-ling. The Spider-ling? Crime-fighting spider. You're Spider-boy? 
Spider-Man. Uh, put some bass in your voice, boy. Put some Spider-Man. Put some bass in that voice. Spider-Man. Put some bass in that shit, boy. You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom. 100 point restoration, that's why I'm here. Is he getting his suit from Tony? That's that's interesting. The only suit he got from Tony in the comics was the Iron Spider suit, which I love. Had arms came out the back. Because I've been me my whole life, and I've had these powers for six months. But he's only six months in, okay. Look, when you can do the things that I can, but you don't, and then the bad things happen, they happen because of you. Ooh. Is that the movie version of a great, um, with great power comes great um, responsibility? Ooh. I like how they said that. I can't go to Germany. Why? I, I got homework. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. No. Curious, better tell Aunt Hottie I'm taking her to kill her. He has the web shooter! He has the web shooter! Because I did hear that the Raimi ones apparently made him organic. I don't like that for one reason. For me, it takes away how smart he is. He made all of that. Guess I should have not. Oh shit, like Hawkeye showing up. I retire for what, like five minutes and it all goes to shit. <laughs> consider the con okay, they're considered. Okay, we gotta go. I knew it should have stretched. <laughs> I love Hawkeye. Oh. You can't overpower me. I know I can't. But she can. She's taking over the Mind Stone. This is what I'm talking about. They will never stop being afraid of you. Damn. I can't control their fear. Only my own. <laughs> yes! Yes! What are we talking about? That's what I'm talking about! What? Are we... Did you see? She changed... She used the Mind Stone to change his density! Can you move your seat up? No. <laughs> Sam's a brave motherfucker. He's literally sitting behind a dude who literally at the drop of a dime or the wrong word being said or potentially even a noise could flip out and try to murk him. Get it, Cap! Get it! Thoroughly get it! Oh, oh she was down. No. Y'all can take a couple minutes in her car, you know? Yeah! The man of the ants himself. What up, Ruddy? How you doing, guy? I'm shaking your hand too long. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Captain America. I know you too. You're great. <laughs> I can't blame him. Like, what would you do? What would you do? Suit up. <laughs> Get your suit, dude. Get people. Confrontation time. Confrontation time. I'm about to see confrontations. Yes. Your old war buddy killed innocent people yesterday. And there are five more super soldiers just like him. Underoos! Underoos. Sort of bitch. It's a new suit. Wait, it's nothing, Mr. Stark. It's it's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Big fan, Spider-Man. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just hey, everyone. Good job. And you've been a complete idiot. 
you, you just brought a minor to a different country to fight somebody. This is just, uh, uh, come on now, come on now. Whose parental garden doesn't know? Oh, 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 oh. All right, Lang. <gasps> oh, what, what, what the hell was that? I believe this is yours, Captain America. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I want to see this fight. But then again, I don't want to see this fight. I love these two. Move, Captain. I won't ask a second time. Look, I really don't. Oh, sa sa sa! She hit him. He he, he did a three piece combo. Oh, dopeness. What the hell is that? <laughs> Everyone's got a. <laughs> oh, oh my! Ooh, yeah. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude. He caught Bucky's metal arm, peeled it back like a fucking outside onion layer as he was complimenting me. And what? Ooh, did you see that Carlane on his um, left shoulder? Ooh. Oh God. I love his spider sense, even though it's not spider sensing. With the old gods and everything, like I see spider sense. Is this stuff coming out of you? I would explain the rigidity flexibility ratio, which gotta say that's awesome. I don't know if you He's smart! Thank you for making him smart! You couldn't have done that earlier. I hate you. <laughs> Throw it at this. Now! Oh, come on! Oh, man, I thought it was a water truck. <laughs> yes! Yes! Ah, they brought in Vision. Look okay. how. This is where things become unfair. But then again, they have Scarlet Witch. They win still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a Scarlet Witch. That's a lineup, though. That's two, that's a, that's two dramatic lineups. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit. This is gonna end well. Walk towards each other, face each other down. I do wish Luke Cage was in here. He was a major part of the comics. Please look into Luke Cage's amazing Okay, we're trying to catch everything here. Oh my God. It's, it's an overload! It's an overload! This shit happening everywhere and it's like Kung Fu out this bitch! I didn't kill your father. Then why did you run? Oh. Oh! Damn. Yeah, I mean, there's not many who can fight Black Panther hand to hand, okay? That's not an easy task. That thing does not obey the laws of physics at all. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got the quippy. I'm loving it. One of the things people don't get about Spider-Man is that literally part of his... His combat style is the quippy. Ooh, because what the quippy allows him to do is it's actually a distracting tactic and it works that people are so irritated that they don't pay close enough attention and that's how he gets a head up. I mean, Ant-Man being shot on an arrow, that's straight from the goddamn comics. I will, look at this, that's right from here. Oof. Yeah. I guess he had a point. <laughs> Oh my god, Cap with the shield now is incredible. Where you from? Queens. Brooklyn. That's... <laughs> we need a diversion. Something big. I got something kind of big. Is he gonna go giant, man? On my signal, 
Is he going to go Giant Man? He hasn't even gone Giant Man in his own goddamn movies. Is he about to go Giant Man? He's not going to die, is he? In the comics, Goliath ended up getting killed by the fake Thor in Giant Mode. Please don't let that happen. I actually like him. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Ooh. We haven't met yet. I'm glad. I don't care. Damn, dog. Yo, Black Panther's a menace. I'm talking about the blackest of all black Air Force Ones on his feet. I'm telling you, yo. He does not care. I'm not gonna stop. Black, you know I can't. Black Widow is literally the final final defense. No, Black Spike. Ah, Mrs. Stark, wait. I'm not done. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I thoroughly thank um, Marvel for that interpretation of uh spider-man that was truly great coming from the last one i saw live action like i said was the early 90s it was not good maybe it was late 80s i don't remember or i saw it in the 90s i think i was like five or something so that was that was great that was great i love his energy i love his smartness i do miss that he didn't make the original kind of design suit because he kind of stitched that together but him getting one from Iron Man, eh, it happens in the comics, so I'm okay with it. I know, so I can I can see some purists completely bitching about that though. Vision, you copy. Target his thruster. Turn him into a glider. Oh! 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 oh. Um. Okay. Is Rhodes going to take the Goliath spot and die? Ooh. I'm sorry. Why does he say he's sorry? He didn't do anything. Vision did that. All he did was dodge being shot himself. Why did he say, hey, I'm sorry? I do not understand that. Please, let me know your thoughts. My thought is this. Vision shot after Rhodey called in the shot. Is it Falcon's fault that Falcon saw, what was, saw the beam coming to hit him, made a maneuver that he did not get shot, and then the shot that, once again, War Machine called on Vision to shoot, Shot war machine by accident. You knew. You didn't have a choice. I know. But I did it. You didn't have a choice. You didn't have control. You were a victim in this as well, man. Maybe the most severe victim. Imagine you having no control over your own body and you are just killing people. At least he's not dead. <clears throat> Civil War had a major death. A major death. Doctors say shattered L4 through S1. Extreme laceration of the spinal cord. Probably looking at some form of paralysis. Damn. The fake doctor is actually Colonel Helmut Zemo. <gasps> Zemo? <laughs> Fucking Barry Zemo? And I love the portrayal of him. Also found a wig and facial prosthesis approximating the appearance of one James Buchanan Barnes. Yes, you've been wrong this entire goddamn time. Team Cap. Team Cap. Team Cap. This is some crap. I wish he had his mask though. He had like a, a purple mask that um 
at one point, like, it's like a, a hand down, too. Like, his dad had it at one point. But, like, it gets, like, adhered to his face at one point. It, it's crazy. Legendary Captain America villain. Who became an Avengers villain? Is this the rat? They have the raft. I kind of wish that uh, Mr. Fantastic was in here. He's a major part of the comics as well. Quick pause. Well, Mr. Fantastic also played an important part in the original Civil War. I, um, I do know that there's a Fantastic Four movie coming. I know it's been casted. I know Pedro Pascal, which is an interesting choice. I don't think I would have gone that route. Only because he's really kind of pushing 50 that's my issue um, I would love somebody pushing 40 they'd also could also be that smartest man in the world but also you know not be too old so they're in that believable age range for for most people uh, that's what I would uh, I would have went with I don't don't ask me who I would have chose I don't know what a Packers to do that for you but I can say that's what I would have went for I think Pedro age wise great actor from what I've seen last of us all that stuff but my point is in Civil War he was a major um factor because Tony started using started using criminals to help his side of the fight that's how bad Iron Man started to fail, okay? It's had lasting implications in the comics because some people still just don't trust him because of that. But anyway, back on point, people. Because I know you're like, what the hell is he talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Mr. Fantastic also helped in the creation of the Thor clone as well as creating a prison in the negative zone where they were holding some of the heroes. So they didn't use the raft like it's being portrayed here, but you don't have Mr. Fantastic, so you don't have the negative zone, so you can't have the prison in the negative zone. There is a mission where they have to, Captain America's team, break into the negative zone to try to break people out. Like, it's a great part of the comic. But Mr. Fantastic created that. So I, I wish he had been involved in this, but I guess, you know, I don't know how right situations work. I understand that apparently they didn't get the rights back until Disney bought Fox. So, okay. Um, I did see the first Fantastic Four movie that, that, that came out. Not the Roger Corman. I saw that in the 90s too. But the one that came out in the early 2000s. And that is when I decided I'm done. I wasn't interested in Spider-Man movies, to be perfectly honest. I didn't like how the suit looked from the trailers and pictures I saw. I was that petty back then. Leave me alone. But, you know, just telling you the truth, people. Letting you know what's going on in my brain when I see this movie and I see the rap, which is dope. But which we could have got the prison in the negative zone because that breakout mission was dope. And then if you ever played Ultimate Alliance 2, that video game lets you play the Civil War storyline from the comics. So you kind of get to like l go through the comic version, but in a video game form. And it's not 100% correct, but neither is this because it's called Adaption, which I'm cool with. But if you want to play a cool video game or play Civil War for yourself, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2, they remastered it a couple, like two, three years ago. So it's on... Like, uh, I know it's on Xbox One and PS4, so that means you can play it on X Series X. I don't know about PS5. You gotta check that please, so. Look, I'll tell you, but you have to go alone and as a friend. Easy. It's about time some fucking rationality was brought back into this man's mind. I'm trying to cut back on my, my F-bombs. That's one of my... One of my wishes in my head, like, could you not say the F word so much, baby? So I'm trying to cut back on I think I've been doing. I think I've been doing all right. I don't know. Sometimes I catch myself trying not to drop it. Ugh. God damn it, that was god damn awesome. Ooh, that may be my favorite suit suit up he's ever done. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ooh, that was dope. And here is Black Panther 
be Black Panther is in this movie is like you got on some socks, you got on some snow boots, and you get a itch in the middle of your foot. There's nothing you can do but take all that off to get to it. That's what he is. He's always there. Oh, look at that pose. Look at that pose. Oh my God, I want that as a poster. Give me that as a poster. Give me that as a poster. Send me that as a poster. Come on, movie. Just, just virtually download it right in front of me right now. See my hands? They died in their sleep. Did Zemo get here and murder all of them? Did you really think I wanted more of you? Oh, yeah, he murdered all of them in their sleep. Zemo is a vicious villain in this movie. I think he may be one of my favorite villains. He's subtle. He's understated. You didn't even know he was there, and he wrecked shop. This is how a smart villain would work. But now that you're standing here, I just realized there's a bit of green in the blue of your eyes. How nice to find a flaw. Yo, this guy, who is this actor? He is incredible. Lost someone. I lost them. Great job, Tony. Your your failings just never find an end. I am telling you, yo. <laughs> that Ultron is a massive blummer, man. Blummer? Blummer. We're going with it. I know that road. What? 1991? What is this? Oh, it's the car. He killed the... He killed Tony's parents. Oh, shit. It's about to get real. Oh, no. Tony's not mentally stable enough to be able to handle this. He's going to flip. And he's going to watch it, too. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Did you know? I didn't know it was him. I just did you know. Yes. The Avengers just died, huh? Yeah! That's what Zemo wanted to do. He wanted to destroy the Avengers. He's, yo, Tony's going for kill shots. This is an incredible fight scene. A completely incredibly staged. I love everything. Yeah, you gotta run, Buck. You can't be standing around. He wants blood, yo. You, you killed his mom and dad, dog. Even though you didn't understand. Left boot jet failing. Compromise. Like he doesn't care. He is he's not he's not here. He's gone. He's mentally gone. He is mentally gone right now. Damn, he's like, we ain't getting out this shit. This fight's happening, motherfucker. You killed my goddamn mama and daddy. Do you even remember them? I remember. That's what I'm saying, man. Bucky's such a victim in this. Tony, please wake up. Oh. Did you see them pass the shield back and forth? That was so fucking dope. Oh my god. They ripped that power suit today. Rip the battery out. You gotta stop him. He don't need it to stay alive anymore. He shot his arm off. That's the shot that I got it! That shot is idolized. It's immortalized in the comic. Glorious. This is what it looked like in the comic. My father 
still holding my wife and son in his arms. Oh my god! If I could get them to kill each other. I'm sorry about your father. I'm done letting it consume me. Yes! Yes! This is the way, like, straight fan and combat caps wrecking Iron Man. Not even close. Look at the combos. Yeah, you had to run a goddamn AI program to even get a shot in. Come on now. He's my friend. So was I. Ooh. Stay down. Final warning. He's really ready to just kill at this point. He's just ready to kill. I can do this all day. Tell him, Cap! Rep it all day. Huh. Yeah, get the gear. Yeah. No protection. Yeah. Cap was not ever trying to kill anybody, you son of a bitch. You're sitting there just trying to murder you emotional ass creature. Shit. I'm emotional too, but I wouldn't just devolve to that. When you knew the facts. You knew he was brainwashed, had no control over what he was doing. You knew hij hijacked this man's mind. And you still could not factor that logically. And I don't get me... <laughs> like, I understand it's his mom and dad. But he also understand Bucky's a victim too. Team Cat. Team Cat. My father made that shield. And he gave it to Cat. I am so pissed off of that right there. I despise you right now. Iron Man, you son of a bitch. Where's JR when you need him? I signed because it was the right thing to do. Was it? Was it? And yeah, this sucks. This is, uh, this is a bad beat. Was it the right thing to sign, though? It hasn't changed my mind. Well, then you're a goddamn fool. And yes, in the Civil War event, the Superhero Registration Act was repealed because it was dumb. Oh! Are you Tony's stink? <laughs> Tony Stank? Tony Stank and Excelsior, Mr. Lee. But Tony Stank? <laughs> I don't like the idea of you rattling around a mansion by yourself. We all need family. The Avengers are yours. Ugh. I don't like him then. He's breaking into the rap. Are you telling me that the, one of the best parts of the goddamn comic, we don't even get to see in the movie? Oh, that's a little sad name. I wish we agreed on the accords. I really do. I know you're doing what you believe in. And that's all any of us can do. That's all any of us should. Indeed. We have a problem. Uh, please hold. No, don't. <laughs> and then Tony finds a way to just make you like him a little bit again. If you need me. I'll be there. Because he's Cap and he's always there for you. Yes. I can't trust my own mind. Damn. So until they figure out how to get this stuff out of my head, I think going back under is the best thing. Damn, he's refreezing himself. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. Bucky's a good guy. He's the biggest victim in the MCU so far, man. In my mind. Look, he's going through this for how many years? Ooh, look at that suit. Pride on, my brother. Pride on. God damn. Your friend and my father. They were both victims. Yes, that's what I've been saying. You know, if they find out he's here, they'll come for him. Oh, he's in Wakanda? This is Wakanda? Let them try. Please show me Wakanda. Yeah, indeed. Let them try. They get destroyed. Wakanda's so dope. Let me see it. Oh, the misty. The misty fog. Ooh, oh. That's the old school Spider-Man logo. Dope. Huh? 
that was glorifactorious. Okay. What? Okay, we're going with it. Um, <laughs> that was great. Um, I don't even know where to start. So much happened. Um, I know where I want to start. I want to start with Baron Zemo. That's a villain. I don't know if everyone liked him as a villain or not, but let me tell you, for me, that's a villain. That's how you, after the disrespect of Strucker in um, Age of Ultron, the respect Baron Zemo got was incredible. He was stealth, he was silent, but he was vicious. And he was successful. His plan worked. Yes, he, he's in jail, but he didn't care. He probably knew he would end up in jail. Once again, his plan was to die. I did my mission. I'm taking myself out. I'm good. Everything he did was successful. By the time they figured out what was going on and they showed up to the place, he was already like, my plan is complete, baby. I just got to show you a YouTube video. <laughs> and that's what he did. He knew Tony's irrationally emotional ass would ignore the facts. And the reason I think that's a problem is because he's too smart for that. He has too much power and too much intellect to devolve what he devolved into. My personal opinion. Okay. So that's why I don't give him no cut when it comes to how his he acted once he found out that Bucky was the one. Because, yes, your parents were victims. Were they bigger victims than Bucky? He was forced to kill a, a friend. He killed his friend and did not have any control or choice. Think about that. Before he was ever your father, that was his friend. Like, and I know some people are gonna disagree, that's fine. But I'm sticking with my opinion. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, Tony, Tony was in a bad way very early on in this movie. And Zemo exploited it and used it to his benefit, okay? Let's not forget, Tony brought a minor to another country without the parental having any say or knowledge. That sounds pretty illegal. <laughs> to me, that sounds like a parent would say that's kidnapping. And when, you know, back in the day, wasn't taking someone across you know, like state lines, what's that like called a man act or something like that? What is it called when you take someone across borders of countries? Like we we're talking about he's over on a different part of the sea. You know, he's a, <laughs> I think I may would flip the whole hell out. But you know, I guess we give Tony a pass on that. But Tony in this movie was a villain as well. He was he was used and manipulated by Zemo, but still a villain nonetheless. Um, and that is another cause for concern that has to be addressed and acknowledged. Did Cap do anything wrong? I mean, let me let me be bipartisan here. Let me be fair. Let me get my good angel hat on. What did Cap do wrong in this movie? Could he have tried to reach out and have a conversation with Tony? Like, hey, you really need just need to listen to me and let me tell you what's going on. Yes. Do I think Tony would have listened? No. <laughs> so that's why. Um, I'll also say this. Should Cap have told Tony that he believed that Bucky, under my control, killed his parents? Yes. That's the one feeling. Failing, I will say, Cap had in this movie. Everything else, a hundred percent correct. Team Cap, baby. Team Cap, team Iron Man losers. 
Y'all can take that L. And if that L is backwards on your screen, then I'll do like this right now. Either way, you take it that L, baby. Tink tap. Okay. Never wear an Iron Man shirt. Nope. I, I have shirts that have Iron Man on it. Yes. But I'll never wear an Iron Man black shirt. No. Tink tap. Silver won't put that in. Ha 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 ha. Tink tap. One. And got breath. That, yo. Okay. My negative. Biggest negative of the movie. Do you have the glorious breakout scene? At the end of the movie, we don't get to see none of the Rocky. Come on, man. That was a major part. I would love for that to be in there. Okay, at least I should be happy that it showed up in some form. Okay, so I, I get that, but you know, God. That prison part is so dope. If you play the video game, once again, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2, um, you get, you do get to do that prison break part. Um, and then the game gets crazy. Uh, but yes, this was dope. Um, they didn't have to team up to fight a global threat of mind control <laughs> virus. But they got to, they did come together in a small form and... Zemo destroyed it. Now let's get to the major big parts. There's two big parts we got to talk about. Spider-Man, Black Panther. We're gonna start with Black Panther first because he was a menace. He was a monster. You could not evade or get away. Well, you could, but it took a lot. And he showed back up again. He was relentless, relentless. And his fighting was immaculate. We are talking about, he jumped in the air and being, before his feet touched the ground again, he threw three powerful kicks, okay? Like, he manhandled Bucky multiple times. Him and Cap would love to see a prolonged fight scene of those two, but you know, they're, you know, they're friends, they're, you know, um, the respect level between those two is at the highest order, so at the same time, I'm kind of happy we didn't get to see that. But, oh my God, that tunnel scene where Cap is driving and he looks in the side mirror and... <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. It was dope as hell, okay? Like Black Panther was the most unstoppable monster in that scene. It was literally like getting chased by goddamn Black Panther. Okay, he was just evading on some biatches. Okay, he took out Sam. Sam was just flying, minding my business. Ah, I'm coming to help. What the hell? Like, Black Panther's on him. We're talking about Bucky's like, I got in the way after mercilessly destroying some poor innocent bystander on a motorcycle. Who knows what happened to that dude? Traction at least. Bucky, you may have to do time for that one because you were running for your life, but God, you coon, give me your bike, flipping around in midair, landing right off. But you didn't get away. You know why? Because Black fucking Panther came through as the breeze falling behind him and just shig it in. Now you're rolling. Okay? And at the same time, Cap side turns a car, jumps out full speed. Like, come on, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I was energized. I'm still energized. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. I know my wife is like, shut the hell up down there. Ooh. Shit was dope. Love this movie. This movie's a goddamn 9.75 out of 10 because we have the same room for what uh, the next Avengers movie could do. They had to fight the animals or something. My God. I'm so in the job, I'm tired. I'm flipping the flop the flipping the pants. I'm this movie was I loved it all. Except for the slightly sleep over facing. Let's talk about Spider-Man now. I grew up watching the Fox animated Spider-Man show. Spider-Man. That. 
<laughs> X-Men, that, and Batman the Animated Series pinnacles for me. I've always leaned more towards the animated movies as well. I've always left live action alone. The ones I saw were terrible and it just never, I never sat well with it. And then um, when they were making the X-Men movies, I just, no, wasn't interested. Cause the, I saw the pictures for the first one and they just all had on like, like black leather suits. And I was like, they don't even have their suits. They're not taking it seriously. So that's what really kind of created my, I will not see these live action movies. That's why I have the ability to say I can watch these now, having not seen them in it, not be a goddamn lie. Because that, to me, I don't want to have put all my time into these comics and we're making a movie, then the movie is just like, I understand you're making it for, the, for also for the majority of people who have never even seen these characters in the comics. I get that. But for God's sakes, that's like having a James Bond you know, and he's not doing his spy stuff. Yeah, he, he like it's like James Bond not having well detailed tailor suits. Okay, it's part of their their DNA, their outfits. You know, you see a bat, you see the Batman outfit, like you that means something. You see Superman, that means something. They had their suits in their movies to some degree, but. For Marvel, they were just blacked out. It was like, okay, I'm not. And I'm talking about looking back at the pictures from the from the old uh, Superman movies from the 70s. Okay, like look at those, which I will do one day, because I'm sorry, I didn't know how you could pull off Superman flying. I'm sorry. Um, how do you do that? Or the Chiefs just look, or okay. Uh, Slight deviation here. My, my, you want to know why I've never really seen any Superman movies? Because I've never seen any Superman movies where the person playing Superman looks cut. The ones from the 70s, when, when I would see, I, I, I've had people try to show them to me. I don't want to see it. You know why? He doesn't look cut. He looks slender as hell. I'm sorry. Just my opinion. I don't want a Superman that looks like if a piece of water like fell on him like it would just combust from the amount of muscle ripplage that he possesses okay i've never seen a superman comic where superman is slender and thin he's always cut diesel so so that's how i like i want to see like get people who get them in the goddamn gym you pay all these money for these goddamn movies pay put them in the goddamn gym okay I don't want, like, oh my God. Oh. I don't want Batman suits where Batman is like, all his muscles are because of the padding. I don't like that. It's a little distracting for me because it doesn't make sense. Maybe that's just me. Give him the goddamn outfits. So that's why a lot of these comic kind of movies have just not been seen. Because I would see pictures, I would see trailers, and I was just like, heh, heh. Don't like what I see there. The only one I wanted to see that I can't wait to watch one day is Blade. I could not see it because when that came out, I was 13 years old. And my mama said, fuck no. <laughs> okay? But my God. When I, the day I watch Blade, I will be a happy some bitch. And that day is coming, probably sometime in the summer, because it seems kind of kind of right. The sun summer's kind of bloodthirsty. Blade we got vampires. That you know, it looks like yeah, man, man. Actually, let me do that in like around Halloween time, because vampires have a Halloween thing, and I hate vampires. Uh, I'm not a fan. I don't like vampires. I don't like zombies. I love werewolves for some goddamn reason. <laughs> um, back on target here. It was, I just started rambling. And I can do that. You know why? Because I'm fulfilled by what I witnessed in this. Scarlet Witch was a menace. What she did to Vision. Where she used his own Mind Stone to increase his density. 
and then pummel him through the earth. Who knows how far she's sitting now? Vision now knows he is not the most powerful. Well, we probably already knew that. But he thoroughly experienced it in a way he never wanted to. We can say that and agree, I think. <laughs> Hawkeye was dope. He was funny. Uh, a little bit disappointed that Black Panther completely disrespected him. <laughs> we haven't met. I'm Clint. I don't care. <laughs> like, straight up. I don't care. <laughs> that was funny as hell. Um, Ant-Man going giant man was incredible. Ant-Man going giant man. Ant-Man is like a goddamn MVP on the lowdown. Whenever he shows up, you're happy, you're feeling good. The Paul Rudd actor dude is great at it. It's, you just feel good when he shows up. And I really enjoy that about him. Such what happened to War Machine. I'm a War Machine fan, but at the same time, he chose the wrong side. And, you know, I disagree with Falcon feeling even a percent of an infinitesimal point of a piece of guilt. When you factor that, he did nothing wrong. The shot was ordered by War Machine to be shot at him. Okay? Okay? He said, turn that thruster into a glider. His words. Vision shot. Clearly somehow his visor or something told him an impending shot was coming. He did a maneuver to not be hit. The beam went past him and just so happened to be lined up on the chest piece for War Machine. That simple. Not goddamn Falcon's fault. If it's anyone's fault, it's War Machine. You called the shot. You're an airplane pilot. You're going to tell me you don't know that the other pilots don't make maneuvers themselves? You're just saying. Um, and then 10% goes to Vision for missing, but I would say 100% of points go to Falcon for making the miss. What are we talking about? That shit was dope. Falcon has some dope ass shit in here. When Falcon just bombardedly hit the goddamn helicopter, what are we talking about? When he came in and did the spiral kick, blah, 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 what are we talking about? When Scarlet Witch threw a dude in the air and he came through with the wing clip, what are we talking about? When he was standing there, doop, 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 shot two missiles, landed, hit two dudes behind him, what are we talking about? Falcon's a menace. Okay? Ooh, I just realized when they were in that buggy car, we literally had a moment where we had three Captain Americas in one car. Because Bucky becomes um, Captain America at one point, and Falcon becomes Captain America at one point. So, bad. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Um... Agent 13, I still don't trust you, but you fought, you showed up. You got put through a goddamn table. Hope you're okay if you're good. Hope you're not if you're evil. Don't know about you, because once again, y'all could be playing the long con, because in the comics, she was under my control for who knows how long. So I'm just, I'm just gonna be fair and honest. For the ones who are devious in the comics, I gotta be careful of how devious you may be in the goddamn movies. You know what I'm I just have inside knowledge. That's just, it's just facts. It's gonna be fair. Um, it's nothing to say about Scarlet Witch outside of what I said. What she did to Vision speaks for itself. Um, whew. But I love the action. That airport fight, whatever you wanna call it, was incredible. So much happened there. Editing that is going to be a pain in the ass. I don't know how long it's going to take to get this video up, to be perfectly honest with y'all, because that, so much happened that I would want to keep in, but it comes to the point of how much of one scene do you have, you know? And then, so that's going to be interesting. But that was incredible. The end fight scene. Um, with Bucky, Cap, and Iron Man. My God. That was that being a pain in the ass as well. Woof. But incredible. 
they outdid themselves in the stunt coordination. And I'm really, really impressed with that. But once again, 9.75 out of 10. Let me know what's your favorite part of this movie. I don't even know how anyone can choose just one thing because there's a billion things that happen in here. <clears throat> but my God, please let me know your favorite part of this movie because I would love to know. Because my favorite part in this movie, and y'all might not understand it, but for me, um, it's simple and it's beautiful. Spider-Man's holding up the little bridge thing. Captain America says, kids, you got heart. Where are you from? He's like, Queens. Brooklyn. And it runs off. That's a comic book lover's dream right there. Simple and elegant. I loved it. Let me know your favorite parts in the comments um, below. I'm drained. I'm tired. I used a lot of energy on this one. <laughs> Who? Yes. I also want to thank my members. Got all of them. Nope, that's the wrong side. I think I think it's right here. Got all my members right here. I want to thank every single one of y'all for being being glorious members. Um, I feel my voice starting to go. My phone's starting to hurt. So I'm not gonna scream y'all names on this one. I hope y'all will forgive me for that. But I love y'all. Y'all my peeps. Once again, members down, uh, memberships are down in the description box below. That was insane. Um, I believe the next movie in the MCU journey is Doctor Strange. Strange. Um, I'm really excited to see that one. <laughs> and that's to be a fun journey. But until the next one, we will see you in the next one. Because the next one was where the next one happens. And when it happens, it keeps happening because we never want it to not happen. And when we love it to happen even more, it happens even more. Because the more you love, the more you love. Yeah, we were in it right there. <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go.